can we be inspired by nature to engineer something and take something that we see in nature to use it in a new form? My name is Amy Lang, and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Aerospace Engineering and Mechanics. And uh, I perform research uh, in experimental fluid dynamics. I came in fall 2005. Um, the university gave me a certain amount of money to start up a lab, a research laboratory, and uh, I used that money. A lot of that money went into building, into buying this particular facility. Well, we have a water tunnel facility, and we're very interested in uh, looking at how patterning a surface you can reduce um, drag or control the boundary layer. The system that we use is is known as um, digital particle image velocimetry, and Basically what we do is we seed the flow with particles and we then shine a laser sheet into the water. The laser beam is coming uh, right out of here from the laser. We're directing it using mirrors up here. Then we're shining it this way. We have to focus the beam uh, to the correct, uh, to where we want it focused. And then we use a, a we shine it into a sheet. So now uh, it's in a horizontal uh, sheet and it's going through the cavities or through the model that uh, we want to, to test. Now we have the camera down here. Um, and so we take images of these particles using a digital camera. So it looks sort of like you're looking at a starry night. There's all these little white dots um, that represent the particles. And then we take two sequential images of the particles and uh, we then have a computer program that can analyze those images and tell us how the particles are being displaced and from that we can measure velocity. The students are the ones that are primarily working in the lab. Um, and I sort of direct them and, and ask them to maybe run certain where, experiments, where going, um, uh, you know, work on setting right, up this facilities, work on here. setting up this experiment. Now we're have the and then they, going, they uh, generate the data and, it, um, it, and then they uh, sort of report back to me and, and we move on from there. You know, what, what uh, additional data should we take the, and, uh, and what is, you know, new experiments should we plan to run and that sort of thing. So I've got to uh, change this or change this out, take out that hexagonal uh, lattice, put this on. And there are a few other uh, changes we need to make. Uh, then we'll put that one in the tunnel and run it. Then after we run this one, we'll uh, run a different, uh, s some smaller uh, hexagonal cavities. Then we also have some square uh, lattices that we can. Uh, attached to this uh, flat plate and then uh, run it using square cavities. So we're looking at lots of different geometries to see what's happening uh, in each geometry and which one might be best for, uh, for boundary layer uh, control and boundary layer flow. But ultimately, we are trying to reduce drag, um, which again um, can translate into fuel savings and, and those sort of uh, issues. So on aircraft, um, underwater vehicles, um, uh, and as I said, possibly even automobiles. And there may be some sports technologies that would be interested in, in patterning a surface to decrease drag.